uh, Barbara Stinson, president of the World Food Prize Foundation, distinguished participants, good afternoon. Recurrent variable facts are pointing out to us that we are moving backwards in terms of food security. Even before COVID-19, the progress towards achieving zero hunger by 2030 had started narrowing. The number of people in food and nutrition security have been growing every year since 2015. The main cause have been conflict and climate change and recently COVID-19 followed by current food prices. Food insecurity is increasing more rapidly in Africa. This is mostly caused by the fact that our food systems are not resilient enough to withstand the weather adversity and the growing peace deterioration. In addition, historically our food production capacity has been somehow not catching up with the population growth. It is very important to scale up already local working solutions to the levels where they can produce tangible impacts. Last year, in preparation of the Food Systems Summit, Rwanda, as well as many other countries in Africa, we went through a series of food system dialogues that helped us to identify what is working, what we are not doing well, and what needed to be changed for our food systems to be fit for our people, for our planet, and for the prosperity of our countries. Pathways for food system transformation have been identified and we are reorganizing to implement them. What is obvious, it is critically important for Africa to prioritize sustainable and inclusive agricultural transformation since it is a pillar on which food systems lean on. First, there is a huge need to increase agricultural productivity. Africa needs a massive food production for food, feed and industrial growth. Without food, it is very difficult to achieve sustainable development and uh, stability. New avenues of research and development such as uh, the recent breakthrough in RNA gene editing and uh, green technologies are providing new window for further progress. Second, post-harvest losses and food waste management technologies are more needed now than never before. We cannot afford to continue to lose food while it has been produced. Third, we need to address market and trade issues. Market failures have stunted agricultural development in Africa. Highs and lows of production associated with good and bad market circumstances needs to be managed more efficiently. Opportunities associated with the growing local and regional markets are to be strengthened. The rapid urbanization in the Africa continental free trade area that connect 1.3 billion people across 55 countries represent market opportunities to our farmers made mostly by small scale farmers. Fourth, inclusiveness is a must. Youth and women need to be equipped with the production resources, including land and finance, as well as the skill they need to play the very much needed role. For the above to happen, efficient resource management going forward is going to be very important, given the current economic hurdles and the sustainability obligations. Harsening artificial intelligence and digital solutions comes in handy. But again, equal access and adoption will determine how these tools will help us.
I wish everyone successful 2022 Borag Dialogues.